hello guys happy happy new year welcome to my youtube channel it is victor once again it's another day and we have another scholarship if you're joining us for the first time you're welcome but where have you been we've been doing this for about three years or even four years now so where have you been hiding fortunately this reservoir of scholarships still has lots of opportunities for you fully funded masters and phd opportunities from around the world so look around, I'm sure you'll find something that catches your interest. And if you're a returning subscriber, returning viewer, thanks for coming back. And I hope you get a scholarship sooner than later. So 2024, fingers crossed, is going to be a year of multiple scholarships, multiple opportunities, multiple offers. So today we're traveling to Canada in search of fully funded masters and PhD opportunities. We are at um, Laval University in Canada. I think this university is in the French speaking part of Canada, but there are several English taught courses or research based in English. So do not worry. Laval is close to Quebec, which I visited um, some months back. And I was in contact with one of you who is presently studying in Quebec at the moment. But there are lots of English speakers there, so do not worry. But knowing French is always an advantage. So let's look at fully funded masters and PhD. Don't worry, all of them or most of them are in the English language. So this is the main page of the different faculties. You can see the different departments here, agriculture, arts, business and the rest of them. So I'll be leaving a link to this particular page in the description box of this video so you can explore the courses yourself, know the their areas of focus, know the kind of research they do there and see how you plug in your own interest to theirs. That's often the catch. If a supervisor is working on something, how is your own area of interest related to what the supervisor is doing or what the professor is doing? I think that's important. Having said that, the opportunities I want to show you today are not on this page. So why I'll leave a link to this page in the description box, um, the main page will be sourcing out opportunities, um, would be derived from Google, a Google search actually. So I've noticed that a number of people go straight into the description box and then do not watch the video to the end and then um, just grab the link and disappear. But now when you get this link, you do not know exactly um, how to fish out the scholarship and you might have to come back to the channel <laughs> to find um, the particular link to the to the database on the scholarships here so now we're going through Google so these are the faculties of course look at them look at the one that aligns with your area of interest but then let's go through Google and then in the Google search bar just type Laval University PhD you can also put masters there as well PhD and masters vacancies and then you see this small um, indication here find a research topic and supervisor so click on this this will just help you to know those professors looking for students those professors looking for masters and phd students and they have funding they have chance to supervise you so this is a shortcut so to say here on the main page of the faculty you do not know who wants a student who's looking for a student but through here you know exactly who is who and who wants a student and who doesn't so what you do here when you get to this page you read all the general information and then look at this tab saying go to directory pay attention to this one and of course click on it so now this is the directory of different scholarships at Laval University for different departments and quickly just to shorten your search you can go to faculty straight away and then of course we've clicked on both masters and PhD then you can choose the faculty that aligns with your area of interest your background as well so for the sake of this video let's choose uh, medicine faculty of medicine so things that are health related and the rest of them let's see medical related scholarships so these are the list of medical related scholarships at Laval and as you can see here you can see masters and PhD so it means this topic you see here the supervisor is looking for both masters and PhD students so let's click on it to get more information I think the supervisor's name is also written here Katia I think that's the 
professor's name so just click on this let's go back let's see let's open a different tab so let's click on this so influence of biomechanical factors so that's like the general topic they want you to come in and research for them as a master's or a phd student the name of the supervisor is given here the areas of interest are given here so lots of information here already about what this particular position is all about and then what about funding so of course you do your own bits to read the background information about the um, topic of research but for the sake of this video we're going straight into the money issues funding so for funding, we clicked on the doctorate. You can see here yeah, eighteen thousand five hundred per year for four years. Eighteen thousand five hundred is okay; it's not very large. But then look very closely. There are other forms of funding you can add to your eighteen thousand five hundred. There is this seven thousand eight hundred and fifty Canadian dollars. Seven thousand eight hundred and fifty thousand. Um, seven thousand eight hundred and fifty Canadian dollars, rather. So you add this to this, and you're getting close to like twenty five, twenty six thousand. But that's not all. You still get lots of other kinds of bits of funding here and there, open to you as an international student. We'll be looking at that shortly. So for masters, you get something related as well. Yours is fifteen for two years. So PhD four years, masters two years. You're getting fifteen thousand per year. You get an extra two thousand five hundred for from your department but there are also other department or university wide um funding that they can also tap into so there is this one called the citizen citizens of the world scholarship we'll be looking at that shortly and it's worth twenty thousand so imagine adding this to what you have already to the fifteen thousand to the two thousand so you're getting very close to forty thousand in your pocket so that's good so how do you apply for this they've uh, mentioned the documents already that you need a cover letter a cv and your transcript and what do you do with this i think it's important that you contact the supervisor first demonstrate knowledge in this area of research tell them that oh you've done something similar in the past you are very interested in this you've done your background reading and you think you can work closely with him or her in this um, endeavor so I've, I will leave a link in the description box below on how to actually email a supervisor. And I would advise that you attach these documents to the email. So when the supervisor sees your email, it give you a go ahead and say, oh, I like your profile, I like your background, I like your interest. Go ahead and apply and probably tell you the application process as well. And usually you need to apply to in the, on the university portal, probably go to the Department of um, medicine so go back to the faculty page and i think you go back to medicine and then um, apply from there but you need the the blessing of a supervisor if you can say so so remember we talked about an additional university-wide scholarship called citizens of the world scholarship so let's look at that very quickly and how do you apply for that that's a different pot of money different from what you get from being in this department that's from a, a university-wide Pots that you can add to what you have already. So, Citizen of the World Scholarship. So, this is the page. Let's go straight into what it entails. So, Citizen of the World um, Commitment Scholarship. So, it's worth 20,000 for masters and 30,000 for a PhD. So this is additional funding, as I said, for talented international students. So if that sounds like you, dig into this. This requires a different application process. First, you have to apply for one of the courses we looked at earlier with your supervisor's blessing and everything, and then return here and apply for this one. You would need your student or application, student number, application number from your initial application to be able to access this particular application. So you cannot apply for this if you've not applied for a course already. And I think it's written here somewhere. I think it's written here somewhere. Yeah, you must complete the online form and submit a complete application by the required deadline. To access the application form, you must, it's even underscored, it's underlined, you must have previously applied for full admission to Laval University. So it's clear. Apply for that one. Then do not wait till you get admission, of course. Immediately you get like a number, rush here and apply for this one as well. So you have an additional 20,000 or 30,000 depending 
on whether you're applying for a master's or a PhD. So we looked at um, this one from the, I think, a medical field, faculty of medicine. There are other ones here, of course. You can also check them out. Masters and PhD, masters and PhD, as you can see. There's something about immunity and Alzheimer's disease. So a lot, a lot of background here on what the research is going to be about. And we go straight to funding. This is in molecular medicine, molecular medicine. So funding, 18, the seven, over 7,000. The citizen of the world's um, scholarship is still here. This is for the masters as well. 17 for two years, masters here as well. 17 for two years, 18 for four years. And how do you apply for this? It's asking for a bachelor's degree, um, CV, students transcripts, provide contact of references, and you can always contact the supervisor in charge. The email address is already there. So do that for your different courses, of course. Um, let's go back to the main page. You can always check and see where is your area of interest. Some of them might have one or two, some of them none. So hopefully there's something for you. And for law, unfortunately, there is none for now. But you can always go to the law faculty page to check whether there's any other funding there. But for here, there is no funding. We can check, um, let's see, which other one is there? Arts and Human Sciences. Let's see, Arts and Human Sciences. There's also no results for that, unfortunately. So for these ones where there are no results, go to the faculty page and see if there are other means of funding. So most of the courses here I've seen are, um, what they call them, are mostly STEM-based courses. So this is agriculture as well. Let's quickly check for any other one. Forestry. Hopefully this one has. Okay. Fortunately, there's for forestry geometrics. Actually, a lot of them here. And the same procedure, guys, the same procedure. Go there, read the background. Check the funding. This is 21,000. That's a lot of money, actually, compared to the ones we've seen earlier. And of course, scroll down for the applications requirements. And of course, there's also a deadline here, so keep an eye on the deadline. So hopefully your area of interest, um, there is um, sufficient opportunities there. As I said, opportunities are not open to every area, but hopefully we have something in your own area of um, interest, in your area of focus. Let's see, any other one? Social sciences, let's try and see. So social sciences, fortunately, we have a number of them. There's something about the anthropology of healthcare, about migration here. So click on this quickly. Of course, the background again. The funding, 25,000, that's a lot of money. The extra funding we talked about. And then the applications requirements. So that is it, guys. I hope this was useful. Fully funded master's and PhD scholarship at Laval University in Canada. Um, let's address the elephant in the room before we go. Most Canadian universities require application fees. Unfortunately, there's nothing much we can do about it. It's very difficult to get a waiver, to be honest. And for Laval, you need um, 97 um, Canadian dollars, 97 Canadian dollars. So 97 Canadian dollars should be, if I convert that to my local currency, I'm Nigerian, so I'm using the Nigerian currency. So 97 should be about 67,000. That's actually a lot of money in Nigeria. But then if you get um, a green light from a supervisor, and if 67,000 becomes a problem, you can always run you know, mobilize friends, mobilize family members, or even send me an email. Who knows? Might be, might be able to raise that amount for, of money for you. So make sure first, do not look at the application fee yet. Try to contact a supervisor. If they agree, then you can always come back to us and we'll run around and find 
something for you so do not be wary do not be frightened by the application fee try to contact one of these supervisors if they give you a yes then run around and um, raise the alarm and then we'll, we'll come to your aid and see how we can raise funds for you to apply for the scholarship so i hope this was useful guys in case you've not subscribed already please do so many more opportunities are coming your way on this youtube channel it is a new year hopefully we'll be bagging lots of scholarships as usual we cannot wait to celebrate you so get to work new year put on your thinking caps and i'll see you at the top sooner than later bye bye for now